really quickly, as a matter of record, Aaron, and thank you again for the hospitality and all that stuff, let me ask you something. Do you remember what day was it when we had a chat with our dear friend Ski Mask? <laughs> We talked to our we talked to Ski Mask on Monday and Tuesday. At any point in those conversations, did I say you need to go into the studio Tuesday? Uh, I believe your exact words were, I don't believe Jim Stansel is going to be able to hold that down on his own. Why don't you go in there as sort of an insurance policy yeah. so I know it'll be solid? Even funnier. Can you imagine me saying that? Can you imagine? Now, you've been in the radio biz quite some time, Aaron, right? Allegedly. Allegedly. And don't you find there are a lot of people that suck at it that, and we won't call them Chad Zumach. There are a lot of people that suck at it and they say, well, I don't want you being good, so I'll try and make you look like you suck at it. Yeah, everyone seems to think that if they, you know, make someone else look bad, it makes them look good, sure. Didn't I do that for two days on your show? Thank you for letting me ruin that. Did Charles call? <laughs> Oh, man, that's I, I tell you, no, you were great on the show. You were like uh, a boat falling out of water. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was on no sleep and I was up four hours at six in the morning. So at any rate, I never said that, correct? You, you did not. No, I have to be honest. You did not say that. Do you, do, do, do you think it seemed like he called in saying, why am I banned from the studio? And I was nice enough to say you're not banned. Did I not say and I quote, I just thought you'd be too embarrassed to go back in after what you did. Right, but that's kind of your fault because you played to his shame. He's a man who goes on streams wearing a pink ski mask and you tried to play the shame card on it. Well, all right. So then, uh, just so you know, uh, there you go. It's like it's just like I'm presenting a case, Your Honor. All right. And why did they fire Pat Dixon, uh, Aaron? Uh, I heard there were multiple reasons. I heard there were allegations of doing drugs. Right, right. Uh, and also that uh, he hit some lady. <laughs> He hit me, Aaron. He hit me. Oh, so, well, okay. Goodbye, Aaron. Thank you. Bye. Steel Toe. Steel Toe Morning Show. Uh, 6 a.m. every fucking Monday through Thursday or Friday. I don't know. I'm 6 a.m. 6 a.m. How did the show play out yesterday? It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it played in. It, so, from what I see, recall... What's that? Jim Stansel started the show and was like, oh, my God, I don't want to host a show. And then Phil Man Jones showed up and they chatted Why a little while. Why was Phil late? Because he had to pick up Ski Mask and uh, that hindered his trip. So I, He was gambling, I think. Who was? Ski Mask. On what? Uh, Phil was playing roulette. On his Phil side. was gambling. On what? A Chuck. Chuck Manjo. Chuck, yeah, we yeah. call him Chuck Manjo. What was he? He was playing roulette where? I think on his phone or something. I thought they were like, because Chuck was picking the ski mask up and he was gambling on his phone. He was like, I'm winning. I can't stop. Oh, okay. Wait. Something was... like that. It was, or maybe it was Chuck gambling. So... I don't remember. But that's, it had something to do with ski mask and gambling. Ski mask, show the so screen grab. So I, I reach, so Phil sends me, show the ski, uh, the ski, ski mask. Grab? Show the skein grab. Show the screen grab I sent the from Phil. Grab? The skein grab. grab. Well, that I'm saying it wrong yeah, on purpose. Yeah, I'll get back here. I'm going to say this once, and only once, Bill. Guy says once. <laughs> well, not on purpose. Give me the skein grab. So, uh, fucking, he sends, Phil, Phil, and I just said to fucking Stancil. I said to Stancil, I'm like, Bring him, he's like, I'm bringing Phil. So, uh, what did I miss? And he goes, don't play dumb. Worst show, History of Compound, which I still don't believe because our shows or whatever. And I said, why did Ski Mask come? Was that your idea? And he goes, his idea. He said he talked to you. If you and by the way, I'm going to say this right now. Ski Mask is banned from being in this studio when we're here. Like, excuse me, I'll just say, I don't want him in the studio when we do the show. Any more than I would want Pat Dixon. Because I want you to let me know in what world that I would say, and I quote, hey, you know what? Exactly what Aaron Imholt just said. Look, I'm worried about Stancil, who I work with fucking every week. I throw the show on his back. Should have just had Lucy Tania host. Where was he? Did he show up? No. <laughs> How is Lucy? He sh Did Lucy Tania show up? No. None of the Tanias. <laughs> Not that not a Tanian sight. No, it's I little, cannot contain you of my disappointment. He would have had to pull an Aaron. He would have had to like run out and come into the booth 
Or, I mean, I, he could have done it from out there. I just, I guess it would have been weird if his guests were sitting in there with him. It's in home. I'm going to say, look at the thing. Above I don't know. He, I didn't know how to make him do it, and he didn't call for it. <laughs> I cannot wait to. You know what? I'm going to just, that, my stream on Saturday is going to be me watching a Tuesday show. That's what it's going to be. That's- but. I'm going to say this. I was okay. going to say, we could just cut to random parts of it. Oh, we'll do that, in a, and I'd love that. But let me just say this. If you don't understand how people are bad at what they do and how people are good at what they do, here's why Jim is good at what he does, okay? Because he said it before. He just shows up, okay? And he wants to be a part of stuff. But you cannot convince me that – I'm going to say this, and I'm sorry that you just pushed me to this and I say nice things. Ski Mask isn't good at what he does. He's not. He's an angry dude. He, he fucking shits on Stancil. And I'm trying to think what it's like to have a co-host who starts out, you know, thinking they're really good and they are, maybe, and then starts to realize their co-host is having more fun than them, I'll just say. Are you talking about Aaron Berg? <laughs> no, Aaron, Aaron, am I talking about you? You're damn right I am. So let's imagine that slowly, slowly, they just start to realize, like, well, I'm just going to fucking try and ruin everything. I'm going to try and ruin everything. So in what world would I ever say, go back to the screen grab, please, if it's still easy to do. In what world would I ever say to Ski Mask, and it was on air, you need to go, uh, what's that? You need to go in the studio. Uh, I, I, you, you should go to the studio. When would I ever say that about a guy that I literally beforehand had, had said, you can watch Monday's, uh, and I highly recommend it, both shows Monday and Tuesday uh, with uh, Aaron were so much fucking fun and so stupid. And I'll say it again. I didn't say you're banned. You should just be embarrassed to go to the studio. And if you watch Gum Friday this uh, Friday coming up, I said when I said when fucking Stancil brings fucking ski mask, he feels like he has to babysit. And Garrett said, and I quote two words, he does. He does. I will say this for not the last time. Phil Manjoan. You will say this. I- <laughs> <laughs> you could just say it. That, that preface. Just seems like uh, seems like it seems like a crutch. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this once. Uh, I'm gonna say this. I love wistfully. I lo- <laughs> wistfully is how Keanu throws a giant log out of her ass. Wistfully. Mm. Thinking about the past, me, wistfully. Me and Bill are talking to Keanu across the street. Did you watch the show this morning? No. <laughs> This show is, I'm the luckiest man alive. And by Are the, you? <laughs> by the way, I'm tired. Aaron and April, you have to come out here. You know, next time I take a week off, swear to God, I'm flying April and Aaron out here, and they'll host the show. Me and Connor will just, just wreck their house. Um, Phil, Phil literally wrote, whatever you do. Or figuratively. Phil actually wrote. Wistfully, whatever you do, don't play random parts of the show. I'm embarrassed enough as it is. And as I'm about to go to Steve, I say, oh, we have a caller. And it just says, Chuck, all caps, don't do it. Now, let me have this guy come on the air so I can pay him the compliment. Chuck Manjone is such a long time in Hot Water fan that I guarantee he'll attest to this. And Chuck's the one we call him. Uh, we, Ch- his real name's Phil. Hope he doesn't mind me. But we call him Chuck because of he's been since the morning show iteration. He's the one that got me into intermittent fasting. He's the one that used to come drink with us. And I would say, oh, we'd get so drunk during In Hot Water. I'd say, come on on Monday or Wednesday so we could sit and watch. Uh, we could sit and watch uh, Kevin Brennan. And I thought I was doing Kevin a favor. And all I would do is ship all the drunks back here to pass out drunk on the couch watching his show kevin love that ladies and gentlemen the star of yesterday's show co-host chuck man joan how are you buddy oh jesus christ <laughs> i i just want to apologize and take full responsibility for the disaster that was yesterday the only time i woke up with more regret is when i tried to fight the mcdonald's in atlantic city <laughs> and didn't i give you shit i'm like what are you doing buddy did i not no, like you were you were correct to give me shit <laughs> you were absolutely correct to give me shit and i, I just want to apologize to everyone that that's all my fault no wait uh, i'm gonna stop on. you i gotta stop you please listen to me how is it your fault like like because I, I made the decision to go pick him up I and and deter my route and be no, late to get no, him. No, I'm interrupting you again. Studio. I'm interrupting you again to defend you. You didn't call him up and say, I decided to get you. You trusted a guy that said, and I quote, Gino said I should come in. 
Yeah, what a fucking idiot I am. Never again. You're allowed to be an uh, idiot, but that's not your fault. Like, let, let's go is. over Let's it go is. over all your other podcast appearances at Compound Media. Done. So when you're fucking doing your first show <laughs> and you just think whatever happens is the norm, and you're like, oh, I guess I should get ski masks because, and watch, I'll, I'll, I'll prove a point because you're, I guarantee you said, well, he... He does shows all the time, so obviously this is just how it goes. You don't know any other way. You did nothing I mean, wrong. I, I did. I did do so. And if I had one ounce of talent, I would have been able to deal with Click. it and steer it in a different direction. But I'm Find a talentless clip. hack. I'm not I'm not a comedian. I'm not a podcaster. Chuck, um, let I'm me interrupt you right there. I'm going to make your day. Decisions. I'm going to make your day. You think it was terrible? Steve's going to show a random clip. Here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, at my God. All right. I'm, I'm on the seventh floor of a balcony right don't, now. So they're going to work. I'm going to jump. Chuck, don't. Come on. Let's take a look. I'll be the judge. Here's here's a clip. What are we looking at here, Steve? Oh, Chuck, can bro. you hang on till Sunday? Because we can make something happen here, buddy. <laughs> please. please get please. your tickets to the Yonkers. Please Yonkers. come to Yonkers. All right. Let's take and a look. I'm what randomly we... clicking around here. All right. And by the way, Chuck. Like I singled them out or made them look Stop. bad. Stop. Stop. Go back to that. Stop. I... Why is Ski Mask at the desk? Oh. Hold on. I'll find that part. Now I lost it. Uh, at there the it very is. end when we all He's... walked away. Uh, watch this. Watch this. I'm calling him right now. Why is he at the hey, desk? Hey, uh, I got invited to Gino's wedding, and I'm looking forward to the buffet of big black nigger cock. It's be oh, great. my God. Oh, wrong part. <laughs> you don't have to go to the wedding Chuck, for that. If you thought I loved you before, you just don't understand <laughs> right part. now. Yeah. Look at Chuck's thanks face. For, thanks for letting me relive my nightmare. Look Appreciate at Chuck's it. face. <laughs> what day? What day did you host? Uh, did you co-host in Hot Water? Nine eleven. <laughs> Never forget. What that guy on the phone. Actually, say, please Gina, forget. Anyway. Please forget everyone. Look at, look at Chuck. Happened. Chuck, your face is. You're getting. Is he fucked in the ass in this picture? <laughs> what, I just, almost got up and punched him in the fucking head. What? Why? Because I was, I was infuriated with him. I asked him to do one thing. It, it was just it, keep your fucking mouth Watch shut. this. Watch this. You think I'm fucking around? Watch. Listen to this, Chuck. You think I'm fucking around? Why is it not ringing? I, what was he doing behind this desk? Listen to this. Hello? Why the fuck was Ski Mask behind this desk? Oh, because he's saying how terrible I was at hosting. All right, shut up and listen to me right now. Shut up. You're not getting paid for yesterday. You're not. I'm not done. I'll pay you. I'll no, pay you Phil, stand, shut so the I, fuck I, up. I, I shut owe you shut that. up. You're not getting paid for yesterday. He's not. And on top of that, for every fucking episode you do with Ski Mask from here on in, I'm decreasing your pay $10. And if you want to quit, you can quit. But don't ever put that guy behind my... He fucking hung up. There you go. Tell me it's, I'm it's wrong. My fault. It's not. It's my You're fault, wrong. not his. You're wrong. It was. <laughs> let's it's watch not fair the to clip. Put the blame on fucking, so I, lose I your made the mistake. About. No. Who the fuck told him to sit behind this desk? Watch. Okay. <laughs> Throw a mouth on you. I, <laughs> pick one. You There's a thistle. I don't fucking care. I'll break the fourth wall. You I. Can't I, the show. You stink. I do stink. Here, ski mask. Here. No, please, God, no. No, God, no. Thank you, Drew. I'll give you two minutes. It's, it's 325. You have till 327. Beautiful. Done. You think I'm fucking around? I guess what? Uh, what? What episode he was doing is it? Stuff. Bobby, what episode? Garrett. And then uh, this happens. What's the number of the episode? This is more skeevy than Pat Dixon sitting behind the desk on a Nothing. Huh? Look at him. What's the number of the episode? Number the episode? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, 370? I mean, how many episodes have we done? We! But the episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, anywho. And he's he's supposed to be there. Yeah. He's mad he at me really since drunk. the last time I uh, dropped the beads all over the ground. Uh, I'm apparently a piece of shit. Since oh, I... and the time before that when your friend came and broke the mic stand? Uh, the guy's a clown. He's, yeah, he's yeah, dead, yeah. actually. Was, I just buried cool him too. last week. Anywho, we got a hit podcast, skimaskcollector.com. Kevin was supposed to come here today, and uh, I mean, Brandon, he could be they were trying to get him on the show. He just texted me about an hour ago. I don't know what I'm doing. He's docked twenty dollars every like episode Stancil. he does with I'm it. Looking yeah. around. You have another minute. Come over here, plug a show. No, you have another minute. Come over yeah. here, help yeah. me plug a show. Drew is the you, sweetest you, man in the you. world, and he oh, looks. Oh, me. You have another minute. Look at Drew. It was uncomfortable. <laughs> no, it's three twenty-six. I'm looking at the wall. 
You think I'm fucking around. All right. I think we I'm going to tell you something. Right? Exactly. I, like, now I'm going to be deathly serious. Okay? Cop. I'm very proud of what we do here. And... And, 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 and the reason we all work, that we don't have, I don't know if you know this, that bit me and Bobby did, just made it up. Just a couple buddies fucking around. Wow. You know what I mean? We work Wait. hard. <laughs> Love Bobby. Bobby goes, no, no, you, I, I think you're being serious now. But you understand? We work hard to fuck around. And if you- We work hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. We work hard for the money. Sure you're so right. This, that, you bet, that's right. I, all kidding aside. I am so proud of how I got here. And when you let guys like Pat Dixon come by this desk for no other reason than they're, they're I'm going to say it, they're evil. They're evil. Tell me, tell me one reason Ski Mask got behind this desk. He's evil. All right, make fun of me. But I'm not even kidding now. Okay, uh, he's drunk. Bobby, can I stay here for this? You can. You look a little tired. <laughs> I've been running back. Far be it from I to defend Jim Stansel. Okay, <laughs> I, I I'm not he, even mad at Stansel, so to speak. I think what he was trying to do is illustrate the same point you were trying to make. That he can't do it on his own. So his point was, all right, here you go, tough guy. Go flounder for two minutes. We're going to all make fun of you. Then you go back to the couch and shut up. I think he was just trying to get the ship back on its course. No. Again, far be it from I to defend Stansel, no, no, but I'm, I'm I think he say, was trying. No, no. Let me, let me, Bobby. You're right, but you're wrong. And you're right, but here's the thing. Because st I'll defend Stansel as well. St well. I would argue Stansel's so nice that he still thinks, he still thinks what Ski Mask thinks, that Ski Mask is better behind a mic than him. And he's not. Stansel's far entertaining behind a mic. But since Stansel and Ski Mask knows this, and this is the evil part, and you can disagree, Ski Mask is like, well, let me just get myself in there, and I can fuck with Stansel's head so much that he'll do that. And that's what evil is. And that's why I love that clip I showed you of Keanu, because Pat Dixon is so used to women listening to his shit when Keanu goes, are you fucking, you hit women? And he's like, ah, oh, fucking kill you. So again, you get what you deserve. And, and, and fucking Stansel hung up on me, and I don't give a... Bobby, did you have something? That might, that might be mine and Steve's fault. Uh, after we no, got, it is not. You uh, got... I, okay. after, hang on, hang on, I'll explain. After we, I know you were busy and missed the dump yesterday, but after we got the <laughs> shit back on air, uh, we spent the time trying to hype Stancil up. We feel like he's been too much of a pussy in his relationships. We t tell him That's to take That's part a of the show. So maybe that was the turning point nope, in his head, I though. I appreciate what you're saying. I'm sorry I'm talking over you. Drink, but no. Did you no. see we poured water all over himself? <laughs> again. Again. You didn't see we poured water all over himself? <laughs> <laughs> How come you're not making fun of Bobby, Bill? No, no, that's that. I am saying exactly what I mean to. <laughs> I, I don't even know what that means. Well, you know how Stance is always making a mess with his drinks. Yeah. We poured all water all over himself. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, but do you understand? And Chuck, are you still there? Yeah, I got to go, though. I, I'm going to drive into oncoming traffic. <laughs> Chuck, just tell me you understand what I'm saying. Like, that's what Ski Mask did. And Ski Mask... There was never a time I would want Ski Mask, who I literally have spent the time saying he embarrassed himself last time he was here. He knows. And then he comes here and does that. And it's so, I'll say it, it's disrespectful. And Stancil can think I was being mean to him right now, but that's the only, it's like, what are you doing bringing him here? And, and what drives me nuts and why, why I made that little fucking, uh, I, I guess I'll call it an ultimatum because, you know, I learned from the best, Ehrenberg. Everything, what is he doing with Ski Mask? Carrying that fucking show. It's like when I, he didn't, it's like he when didn't I said to there, Chad, oh, I'm sorry, you go, Chuck. No, I'm just, I was just saying he didn't bring him in there. That wasn't his decision. That was my decision. It was and not your decision. Full accountability. It is not your decision. You trust, don't ever blame yourself for trusting people. And again, I don't think the show was that bad because I, I love fucking train wrecks. I love them. I'm engaged to one. Baby, you're not watching her. I love them. But I just can't put up. I I've said this before, and, and they'll make fun of me. I'll say it again. Bullies are bullies are bullies. So again, every fucking episode Stancil does of Ski Mask, fucking I'm taking fucking money out. I'm, I'm reducing his pay. And hold on, Frankie. Why am I wrong to do that? Because it's not here. He has nothing to do with here. He has nothing to do with here, but I'm trying to help him get out of an abusive relationship. Well, help him by telling him, don't fuck with I, his money. Okay, and you're right, and that's a fair point, and I get that. Hold on, Bobby. But, Steve, yes or no, have I not told him repeatedly? 
You can't control people. If you tell I them can't repeatedly control people, but and they when fucking I, when, don't want they don't want to follow your advice, then that's just kind of that. How would you, you feel? You can't fucking try to manipulate them by fucking with their money and then saying, now, do, like, either quit or quit your other show. Ultimatum. Like, I thought you hated that because that's what you said Aaron did to you with the fucking rehab shit. Okay, fine. I won't cut his money. Fair. But let me explain why I did that, okay? And you'll understand this, okay? I think it's fair to hate, like, fucking rip into him. Well, but don't, well, like, Watch you know. this. Steve, once again, the yin to my impulsive yang, you're right. I will not cut his money. And I will pay him for tomorrow. And by the way, I already paid him. I was just trying to freak him. But here's the thing. I, here's the thing. I literally have told him that this is not a good guy that he's better than that show. Now imagine if I keep saying to you, and we'll get to you, Bobby, I apologize. Imagine if I keep saying to you, fucking, uh, that guy's no good for, you know, if I kept saying that guy's no good for you, you know, you're one of my girlfriends, we're a couple gals, guy's no good for you, and then fucking, you, you don't leave the guy, and then the guy walks in one day and punches me in the face. Wouldn't you be a little livid at me? What, shouldn't I be a little livid at you for fucking, not only not getting rid of this guy, but now bringing him into my world where he fucks with me? Yes. And that's why I overreacted. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. So my point is this. I'll find another way to fuck with him. And I'm not going to fuck with his money, but I'm going to say this again. You don't ever, you don't ever fucking bring that guy back here when all he does is prove me right. But you get my anger. My frustration, I should say. Yeah. Okay. You don't want that guy. I, your frustration in one picture. Yes. <laughs> yes. I get it. I, like, here's the thing. I know how rape victims feel. Sexy. Like they were asking for it. 